Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about solving word problem regarding inverse variation. So last time, or recently, we have uploaded a video wherein we talked about inverse variation, definition, formula, different forms of var inverse variation, as well as calculating for the constant of variation. And right now, we will focus or we will solve a problem with regard to inverse variation. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the single problem for this video. And this one is a work problem. So let me read the problem. In a factory, 10 men can do the job in 30 days. How many days it will take if 20 men do the same job? So there are different ways on how to do this in mathematics, but our focus is to use the concept of inverse variation. So, ito is definitely an inverse variation, guys, ha? Parang di ba ang relationship nito? The more na mas marami yung gumagawang mga tao or people in a certain job, it will lessen the number of days that they need to finish a given job. So, definitely, this one is an inverse variation. So, let me remind you of the different formula with regards to inverse variation, we have y is equal to k over x or k is equal to x times y or xy. But this time, even variable natin dito. So, punta natin eh. 10 men can do the job in 30 days. So, dalawa yung ating quantities dito. We have the 10, 10 men and 30 days. So, yung Men natin, i-represent natin siya bilang M. Okay? M represents for the number of men. Yung D naman natin rep will represent the number of days. Now, sir, paano ngayon natin siya gagawin gantong equation? Simple naman yan. Parang lang siya eh. Ganto lang siya. M is equal to K over D. Number of men varies inversely in the number of days. Ngayon, sir, paano pong first step natin? First step natin is to solve for the value of k. So basically, to solve for k, guys, ito yung main formula natin eh. To solve for k, multiply mo lang yung m sa d. So m and d. In here, sa so first sentence natin, 10 men can do the job in 30 days. Ibig sabihin yan, your m is equal to 10, your d is equal to 30. So to solve for k, for the constant of variation, k is equal to 10 for the value of m, d for 30. Okay? 10 times 30 is 300, meaning your k is equal to 300. So we are done with the constant of variation. Ngayon naman, puntahan natin yung mismong problem. How many days it will take if 20 men can do the same job? So, ang gagawin mo rito ngayon, since meron ka ng value ng k, go back here and gawin mo siyang mismong formula or equation. m is equal to k, which is 300. m is equal to 300 over um, your d. So, sagutin na natin to. Dito, how many days? If 20 men, so yung M natin is 20, yung D natin ang nawawala. To solve that, gawin natin dito. Palitan natin yung M natin 20 using this formula. Is equal to 300 over D. Okay? Cross multiply natin. Gawin natin itong fraction. 20 times D, that is 20D. So, no, 1 times 300, that is 300. As I result for D, divided by 20, divided by 20. Cancel natin to cancel your D. I'm going to adjust the paper. Your D is equal to what? What is, 20, what is 300 divided by 20? 300 divided by 20 natin is definitely 15. Meaning, um, it will took 20 men to finish the job 
for 15 days. So, ganun siya kahaba. And as you can see, this one is an inverse variation. Nung 10 tao lang, 30 days. Okay? Ngayon, nung 20 tao nang gagawa, it will only take them um, 15 days. So, since marami ng tao, mas bumilis yung trabaho and mas mabilis na matapos yung job. So, I hope guys, na natutunan yung concept about uh, solving problems involving inverse variation. So, don't forget to watch the previous videos about direct and inverse and I will make sure na ilalagay ko siya sa ating description box. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!